Tonight, Miami Beach commissioners with a plan to tackle invasive iguanas in their city. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is in Miami Beach to explain this one. Last year, the budget for iguana removal was $50,000 here on Miami Beach. The mayor says they have quadrupled that to $200,000, and there's one plan to possibly offer a bounty on them. Something more needs to be done. This is a ridiculous picture. They're invasive and destructive. This guy got famous on Lincoln Road a few years ago, but since then, the iguana population on Miami Beach has been booming. You can even look on my neighbor's, on her property. Yeah. It is full of, uh, I, 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 I have to say. What she wants to say is poop, and we saw it everywhere too. This is video from just a few days ago of a hunter paid by the city, humanely shooting and collecting the scaly critters. This one's definitely over five. But now city leaders who met Wednesday are quadrupling the budget for iguana remediation, some with the idea to put a bounty on them. Dead or alive, but if we pay per iguana, we're going to get more iguanas. People, people are going to go out and hunt them for money. The mayor says that could work as long as it's all legal and does the job. They're pretty nice. They're cute. Some oh, have a cute? soft spot for the reptiles. We are really happy with them. But others we met at Must Park, where they like to hang out, say they have to go. I guess everything has to be controlled. There is only one way to get rid of them, and it is not trapping. The mayor says they are looking into removing these iguanas, not only on public property like this park, but also private property as well. They are going to be forming an ad hoc group and they'll be taking bids. So we'll stay tuned. We're on Miami Beach. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.